We are learning more tonight about the disturbing charges against a local police officer and a former officer. CBS 4's Hank Tester live in Sweetwater with the latest on that. Hank. Rick, this has been going on for a long time, covered it for several years, and uh, they call it the, the situation here a policy violation, but prosecutors are a little more explicit. They call it racketeering, and if you read the documents, it's laced with violence. Let's take a look. Hands behind his back, cuffed Sweetwater Police Sergeant Rennie Garcia out the door after being granted bond. The charge? Rackets hearing. And toss in organized scheme to defraud and conspiracy. The arrest warrant is massive. So much so. My problem is that I do not have time to read this. It's 58 pages. 58 pages full of alleged cop misconduct, Sergeant Garcia and other cops stealing money, cars, TVs, computers, kickbacks from towing companies. Prosecutors allege beatings, even torture. Victim Manuel Rangel. They stopped me and they arrested me. They took my car, they took $2,200 from my pocket. I never saw that money back, I never saw the car back. We tried for comment from Sergeant Garcia, no answer at his large, well-kept home in Palmetto Bay. Also charged, former Sweetwater cop William Garcia, no relation. He's currently in federal prison on other charges. The current Sweetwater Police Command staff cleaning up the department's longtime tarnished image. We've eliminated the high liability areas here in order to make sure that we affect positive change. Well, the sergeant's out on $60,000 bail. That's the very latest. I'm Hank Tester, CBS 4 News Tonight. Back to you.